Welcome back. We've got a cool group of people here today, and it's to do with the Chautauqua. And the Madison Chautauqua is, is what, Joe? Well, it's probably the best festival in Madison all year, and the best weekend. It happens to be my birthday weekend. <gasps> now, see, I didn't even know that. <laughs> okay, we have to wish Joe a happy birthday. That That's weekend, right. Come so. on down. Check out the Chautauqua. Right. If you see me on a golf cart, scream happy birthday. Oh, we can do that. Right. We can do that. So now there's a lot of bands coming this year. We do. We've got music on Chautauqua. Uh, the Chautauqua committee has been working real hard to do some other things over the last few years. And uh, about three or four years ago, we started having more featured music on the linear lawn. Right. And then last year, we added uh, the beer and wine garden on the linear lawn. So this year, we got beer and wine and food and a bouncy house and even more family fun activities all on the linear lawn so it's real exciting to have the music there plus our standard performers throughout the festival that everybody kind of counts on seeing every year right now now carrie you were telling me that there's a lot of artisans this year how many do you have this year we have about 190 artists this year and about a quarter of those are new artists so we're looking forward we have quite a few repeats and some old standards. Um, one artist has been with us for at least 36 years. Oh. So um, it's something that they would like to come back to year after year. And we have a lot of new faces this year too. Now this this is not just two people putting this on, is it? No. Oh no. 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 <laughs> We've got a real dedicated Chautauqua committee, a group of right. folks that have worked really hard over the last three or four years. It's been the same group and um, really just working hard, uh, dealing with everything that we can along the way to kind of find that mix. Like it's great that Chautauqua, we've had an artist coming for 30 plus years. Right. And so there's so much tradition with the Madison Chautauqua, but at the same time, you don't ever want to lose your tradition, but you want to maintain some currency as well and right. change a little bit of things to make it interesting and build year on after it. year. Yeah. I mean, you know, a, a real core group of folks that I'm always concerned with making sure we have stuff for is people who live here. You know, I, I've lived here for 25 years almost and right. bit, never missed a Chautauqua, I don't think. And so part of the, the Lanier lawn and stuff is to have events and things going on that are a little bit different where, you know, you can come down to the lawn. The lawn is free. Right. Come on down. You can have some food, have some beer, have some wine um, and just relax. We got shade. We got picnic tables. We got areas for families to hang out, kind of regroup. Husbands can kind of take a break if they want to get a retreat. That's a good um, one. And it's real exciting to have the, the entertainment we have there this year. And plus, we're uh, featuring only Madison um, Vibations this year. So we've got, oh. yeah, it's very exciting. We yeah. got Mad Paddle Brewery. Yes. And we have the new Madison Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. So those are two breweries, production breweries, right here in Madison. Right. So they'll be there selling, as well as Thomas Family Winery for folks who want some wine. So we'll have both of those and we got plenty of soft drinks and water and like I said food going on down there so it's gonna be really great and people really need to try the breweries because you know I to me beer is beer no it's not how dare you <laughs> it's not it's not I actually tasted some of Mad Paddle Brewery's um, beer and I don't know what it was but I would have thought it was wine all that's right. the difference so you, you really need to try it just to see what it's like yeah it's real exciting to have those those popping up here in town yeah. and being part of our our tradition our new traditions that right. we're starting yeah now with the Chautauqua it's not only for the artisans there are things for kids to do in there this year we have a donated bounce house that we'll have on the Lanier lawn as part of our entertainment garden so that parents can kind of like Joe said sit down take a little break from shopping or dad can take the kids so that mom can go shopping and they can enjoy the bounce house and we have um, a nut vendor and some uh, kettle corn that will be sold on the Lanier lawn along with soft drinks and water so it's right. not just the beer and the wine we're trying to make the Lanier lawn and entertainment someplace where they can take a break and hang out and, and still be close to the event yeah it's still right there it's, it's right next to the chalk walk we're gonna have the right. chalk walk again this year um, at the top of Elm Street mm -hmm. so kids can do the chalk walk adults can do the chalk walk you can sign up still for the chalk walk Friday night uh, the 27th will be check-in and then they chalk all day Saturday and then there's a judging on Saturday night at 5 now, p.m. Now explain to them what the chalk walk is it's not a walk 
What is it exactly? You sign up and for $15 you get your a set of pastels that you can use and we've pre-painted spots on the um, street that are blacked out so that you can do your own original artwork on the street and I think we have an adult and a children's category so there'll be prizes for the winners in both categories at the end of the day on Saturday. And those those are really cool. I know last year I was amazed at some some of the kids that looked like they had like 70 years old had done that. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Was very it talented. blew me away the first time I saw it. Yeah. I thought I didn't think it was the event that it was going to wind up being and I think we have a great turnout for it. Yeah, every year um, gets a little more popular and right. so this year is no different. So we have a, quite a few that are pre-registered and again, you can still register and come down and get a spot. Oh, and in wow. the divisions there's prizes, right? For mm -hmm. for the folks. Yes, we have adult prizes and ch uh, children prizes and I believe there's a cash prize for the adult. All right. Oh, they'll love that. Yeah. Now, what's the date for this event? It's coming up. It quick. sure is. September 28th and 29th. And so that's two full days. Yes, um, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So Saturday and Sunday, we're hoping for great weather and for a full day of lots of traffic down there along the waterfront between Broadway and Vine. Oh, wow. Now, we can't cover quite everything that goes on at Chautauqua, but is there anything we've left out you think people might want to know about before we... Let them go aside from maybe the website I mean, or the Facebook page. Where, sure. where should they go to find what I think information? Our, I think our Facebook page, find us on Facebook. That's your best way Very to get our most updated, latest yeah. information that's going on. And, you know, we're, we're like, we're just really trying to make this an event for everybody. So right. I think that the lawn is a great thing. The artists, um, it's a great mix of you kind of see the folks you count on seeing. You can see them, right. but see how many new artists this year? Around 50 yeah, new that's, artists. That's awesome. I mean, that's worth going to look, a look alone. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've got the whole community jumps in. Um, thank you very much to all the folks who live oh, yes. in the houses around our perimeter. And they deal with this no parking that we put out. Right. They deal with the crowds. And, and hopefully, you know, that all works out well. It usually seems to be fine. But it's a stretch for those folks to kind it of is. donate their weekend right. um, and they have make some sacrifices so we want to make sure we thank those folks and yeah. and um, everybody else in town who kind of jumps in and helps out with this it's great um, do want to mention that we've got some of the standards back for folks so we do uh, Bob Culberson is the Chapman stick guy so he's in his same spot every year and Rob House has his jazz quartet every year right and we have them in the same spots down on the river we we switched up uh, Emily Ann Thompson, who plays fiddle, yes. Stomp Box, and her husband plays guitar. They moved up to the entrance this year, and so down on Broadway and Vine, we've got uh, Big John Atkins, a local Ooh, legend. So yes. a lot of original and great music he'll be playing for both days down there. So it's going to be wonderful. And on the lawn, we've got, um, we've got a great local band. Uh, going to be going all day Saturday. Um, they're going to be playing from 1 to 5 on the near lawn, and it's... B.G. Johnson's Big Bad Brass Review Revival All Stars, which is a hilarious name. I but have it's, heard of them. They are a, they're a kind of a brass, jazz, fun, right, upbeat, great band. And uh, opening up before them on Saturday morning is a pretty local guy from Scottsburg, Bryce Hall. Oh, he's, yeah, no Bryce. You know Bryce, yeah. great musician, great yeah. song. So he's going to be playing in the morning on Saturday, them in the afternoon. And right. if you've been down to the lawn the last few years, I keep bringing back on Sunday an artist from. Michigan originally and I think she must live in Nashville now but she's a country music singer named Melissa Lee yes and she's been back her. quite a few years yeah. and so she's coming back again and so it's great to have her there and her, her Sunday tradition on the lawn so oh I think this is gonna be amazing so but now if people want to help and volunteer the day of yes. how can they do that through the Facebook page yeah that'd also? be the, the safest bet we can definitely put okay. them in contact with our volunteer chair which is Holly McGrath um, she's manning all the block captains and taking all those taking control of all those volunteers so she's oh, very wow. helpful so yeah. um, if they reach out through our Facebook page we'll definitely put them in contact um, there's a job for everyone once yes. we're down there yeah so you can't have too many volunteers sure they, uh, never all hands on deck right and if it is a last minute where you decide you might want to help out um, you be sure to find all of us most of all day Thursday and all day Friday right down around <laughs> the whole area scrambling around in golf carts right. and on foot and on bicycles and just trying to get things done so find somebody with a shirt on and say hey i want to help and right i guarantee you you'll be able to help so oh that's awesome well I, do we have any more we covered most of it didn't we i believe so well awesome. this year we'll have merchandise for sale oh um, that's right shirts t-shirt yeah <laughs> uh we'll have t-shirts and posters and we'll have a poster signing with joey 
um, mm -hmm. Saturday from 10 to 11 and 4 to 5 and then Sunday from noon to 1 he'll be back at the Broadway info tent to sign on to okay. sign his posters Perfect. and we have the large size posters and a small poster this year available to sell we have hats yeah cool, really cool hats so our, our merch we're stepping up our merch game for sure <laughs> hey, that's great we got some great stuff and, and the info tent is the corner of first and Broadway first which and is Broadway. I guess the main entrance of the festival but we okay. have a big info tent there so that's right. where you can buy merch and just find anything out you might want to know yeah. um, about where things are what time things are going on that's that's kind of the place where you get all the information awesome awesome okay so first in broadway yep okay come on well, down y'all heard what he said you need to go on down there check it out first in broadway get all the information find out where everything's at and then head out and look at all of it so i think you'll find it great especially the musicians joe really puts his heart into those it's so, gonna be great yeah i think so so as always, we thank you for watching.